this book I have not been able to put down since I got it. I've shed so many tears behind this book and reading the great history of Benin. It talks about the history of Benin from the African perspective, and that is something I've always been advocating for. She has given vivid details of what went on in the 1400s between the Europeans and the Africans of Benin. And I just want to take time to thank Nick Penn for sitting down and writing this book. This book is for sale. If you love African history as much as I adore African history, you will inbox her for more information. There's so many amazing things in this book. I truly believe that this is probably the biggest gift that she could give to the world teaching others about the fascinating culture that not too many people know about. You know, this, this book is so, it's not just a book. Calling it a book, it doesn't even seem like it does it justice. It's, it's got so many different components to it, and it's so fascinating. I have this book here that she has come out with. It's the first edition, an amazing book. Many people have been patronizing her any festival that we go to in the city of Toronto, and they don't, they're not even Nigerians. It goes to show you that this is an amazing book. It's called the first edition, Great Bini, the Alcazar of Post-Colonial Culture and its relationship with the Europeans since 1400 AD. Nekma Mbasige is a Canadian-based Nigerian from the Great Bini Kingdom in Nigeria's present-day Edo state. She is known for promoting Bini culture both in Nigeria and the diaspora. Her experiences as a young girl growing up in historical Bini and her enthusiasm for its colorful history and culture led her to embark on a research journey of which this book is a product. This book critically examines the relationship between the Bini Kingdom and the Europeans during the period of early contact to the time when Bini was colonized by Britain in 1897. It analyzes how the systems introduced to Bini by the colon uh, colonists redefined and shaped the political, economic, and social and cultural structures of Bini and its peace pool. It also unpacks the intergenerational effects of colonization and gender stratification embedded in the educational system introduced to the Bini people by the European colonizers and explores how Western education shaped the trajectory of her life. A proper knowledge of history will no doubt help to understand the past and the present as well as define the future. Now those are amazing words by Ms. Nekpen Obasuke and I cannot amplify enough the importance of having leaders in our community who are able to amplify the works of our people and to tell our stories. I am so glad I ran into Nekpen Obasuke. Um, I bought her book and I really enjoy it. I need to learn more history about Benin City. She did a great job putting this together. Uh, I showed it to my daughter said, Dad, bring that book. Bring that. I'm going to Detroit to see my daughter and I'm going to bring the book with me. And it came all the way out here to where she is so she could sign it because I forgot to ask her to sign it. So I really appreciate it, you know, your time. And uh, I appreciate this great book. I also believe that this is a book that should be in all our schools as a history book since history is back in, in the school. So thank you very much, Sister Nekwe, for putting this together. It's us telling our own story through the voice, through the mind, through the intellect of our most delightful and honorable and hardworking sister, Sister Nekwe Obasogi. We salute you, my sister for putting this together, which is heavily researched. Don't forget now, anybody doing any PhD work in any Bini history, your book become a source. Yeah, absolutely. And as a matter of fact, the peculiar nature of the Benin um, culture and tradition, which has been preserved over the, over the centuries, is something that uh, any 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 Edo man should be very proud of, and that is the reason why some of us decided that we have to associate with what has just been done. It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Wife Yokuni Dimudi. I'm actually a professor at York University in Toronto. So today, I, I mean, I I would like to do three very quick things, if it's if the time permits me to do that. I would like to speak to the significance and relevance of the book. 
uh, its use and value to youths in the diaspora and, of course, youths back at home. And, of course, one of, the, one of the most important contribution of the book is the perspective of gender in the sense that we want to talk about African history specifically, that uh, the voices of women are often sidelined or not included or not engaged with in a sufficient critical manner. Now, in the 1960s, a professor at Oxford made a very public declaration on BBC that Africa has no history, that there is only, it's only the history of the Europeans that exist in Africa. Every other thing else is darkness. The significance or the importance of the book lies in the fact that uh, the United Nations declared 2015 to 2014 as the international decades of African people. And the key objective of that decade, to be honest, is to promote knowledge of and respect for heritage and cultural contributions of Africans to the development of their society. Crucial, therefore, these books put a buzz eye on the significance of understanding our past and denying the argument of the Oxford professor in the 60s that Africa has no history by engaging in pre-colonial understanding of the Bini people and its engagement in terms of the colonial encounter up to the post-colonial era. So the book, therefore, is in some sense a significant contribution to helping us to understand our past, our present, and in thinking through what our future looks like. In that sense, I, I roundly applaud the author, Nekben Obasogi. Uh, the second importance of the book has to do with what I think is the value to both youths in Canada and youths back at home. Uh, the, the beauty of the book I find is the ways in which the stories that have been told at the, at the end ultimately moves us from an abstract theoretical historical analysis to lived experience. This, for me, is perhaps one of the most significant contributions of the, of, the of the book. And I would strongly recommend the book to, to both old, young, uh, academics, people that are interested in reading academics book, or non-academics as well, who are just interested in, in getting a better understanding of the historical nature and its historical contribution, specifically of the Bini people. To it's amazing that Nekpan has brought this to light so people can understand the real history and the real story of the Benin people. Uh, one that is not diluted, one that is not, you know, has the Western society's touch on it, but actually the real story and the authentic story. So I think that was an example how cultures and histories can be diluted by Western society and white imperialism. But what she's done, this changes the views of Africa, changes the views to what the real narrative is. And not only the bad parts, but to also highlight the positive parts because there's many positive parts of the... Of Nick Brain Obasuki, I'm so proud of you. Yes. I, I appreciate people like you. You are humble, you're fun, you're friendly, you're hardworking, and you are just, I don't know, you're just full of great ideas. And I know this is just the beginning, and I'm very, very proud of you. As part of measures to honor writers who add value to this society, the Association of Nigerian Authors, a dual state chapter, has awarded Canada based Indigen of the Great Benin Kingdom, Nekbe Obasugi, the Honorary Pen Award. The event, which held in Benin City, had family members of the great author ably representing her and members of the association who had nothing but praises for the author and her work. We are so very happy to be here today. It is done by our power, and we believe that uh, the English will see that uh, everyone is born with different kinds of the parameter and intellectual capacities. I'm so very happy to be that our own sister, Mrs. Nebe Obasuki, will be given this prestigious award. In 2021, an act of curiosity prompted her to embark on the journey, researching the history of the Europeans and the Benin Kingdom during the early contact. She wrote the book to examine what transpired between the Europeans and Benin Kingdom from 1400 AD to when Benin was invaded by Britain in the 19th century. Her book, Great Benin, the Alcazar of Postcolonial Culture, is currently making waves on social media. My name is Costanza Sebastige and I am here to give a shout out to my aunt. Um, on the release of our new book titled Great Benin, the Alcazar of Postcolonial Culture, so actually, the book um, entails the relationship between the Europeans and the Benin Kingdom for more than 400 years. Like, 400 years is a long time. Man, I think it's time we go back to our culture, like, go back to our past, like, try to know what really transpired between the Europeans and the Benin Kingdom. 
This song is dedicated to Nekbe Obasogi for your great achievement on your uh, book. I really, really, really give you kudos. Like I said before, it takes even quadruple effort for any one of our nature to come onto this, um, up to this, you know, platform. You set a pace and others will follow. Thank you, Nekme. It's been a pleasure knowing you and being your friend. Enjoy. Sit back and enjoy. Wagya yerun sway. Wagya yerun sway. Nekme no enekbe o. Gya yerun sway. riding keep on riding keep on riding we are with you thank you so much ah you're a source of pride to us thank you